Arconic, the American company that sold the panels at the center of that London apartment building fire a month or so ago, has some long-awaited positive news. It reported better than expected earnings, and it also raised its full-year outlook. Despite distancing itself from the fire, shareholders still have some concerns, uh, and that sent the stock lower. Morgan Brennan has more. It was a quarter packed with drama, yet Arconic managed to beat Wall Street's expectations. Analysts largely welcome the results, especially since the stock recently whipsawed on a parade of PR crises. Arconic reported a strong second quarter earnings number, especially considering the noise surrounding the company's construction and aerospace engine businesses. Uh, however, we don't think the full year guidance range is enough to get investors excited. Arconic, which was spun out of aluminum giant Alcoa last fall, has most recently come under scrutiny for its combustible cladding on Grenfell Tower the London apartment building that caught fire in a deadly blaze. Speaking to analysts today, interim CEO David Hess called the fire a, quote, terrible tragedy. But he also stressed that Arconic was not involved in the design or installation of the broader insulation system used. For our portion in the supply chain, we believe we've been compliant in the sale of our product. Nonetheless, Arconic recently halted sales of the panels for a high-rise application, and one shareholder suit has already been filed. It's the latest incident to impact the maker of plane and auto parts, which was also blamed for the temporary grounding of Boeing's new hotly anticipated 737 MAX, just days before the jetliner's debut. As a company coming out, you know, as a new brand, it's, it's definitely had some challenges here in its short lifespan of about six to nine months. Including finding a new CEO. After an abrupt departure in the midst of a bitter proxy fight with top shareholder Elliott Management. And that'll likely be the next catalyst for the stock is whoever they bring in and is able to put forward a, a more strategic plan for Arconic that's aerospace and automotive focused. Um, you know, I, I think that's going to be good for Arconic over the long term. Meanwhile, after plunging more than 20 percent last month, the shares of Arconic have largely regained ground despite closing in the red today. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.